When you push the utter limits on these 1500 horsepower top fuel nitro motorcycles in pursuit of world records, things are bound to go wrong. You're bound to find the weak links. And right now in this video, we're gonna tell you about a common problem in top fuel motorcycle. Remember, when these monsters cross the finish line, they have EGTs or exhaust gas temperatures of about 1400 to 1800 degrees. That's creating some problems. In this video, we will explain to you exactly what the issue is and what change Larry Spider-Man McBride is making to try to rectify it. Good old top fuel nitro motorcycles. It's always cool to see Larry Spider-Man McBride crack off a 550 world record. Yeah! Well, stay with us in this video because we're gonna give you inside information about a problem these teams are having. As you push the envelope, as you go for world records, you're bound to find the weak link. And right now, a lot of teams are struggling with valve issues. And that was clearly evident at the Man Cup Finals where the Spider-Man Larry McBride made six runs and ended up hurting 24 exhaust valves. The valve simply can't handle the extreme heat. But there's a change coming. These motorcycles are lightning quick, but McBride said he's had this exhaust valve problem for decades. All throughout his career, he has run stainless, but now, just like the NHRA top fuel and funny car teams, McBride is switching to Inconel. Inconel is an alloy of nickel containing chromium and iron resistant to corrosion at high temperatures. Larry McBride is very excited to try this out and hopefully it will improve his program. Ferreira Valves has been on top of this and has been working hand in hand with Larry McBride to try to develop a solution. Right now the valves are getting too hot and are tuliping and that's why you see Larry McBride change motors so often. It's because he has eight spare motors from 43 years of racing and it's easier for the team to change a motor than to pull the head. We know how important valves are, especially on the world's quickest and fastest motorcycle. And Larry, you're standing here with a longtime sponsor, John from Ferreira, who is taking a hands-on approach. You gotta bring me up to speed because you guys were talking. I said this is way too interesting on well, what's going on. You know, John John not only has he been a long time supporter of Larry McBride racing, but he's also a, a friend. He's right there in, you know from Virginia there. So sure. It's, so it's uh it's been a perfect match and John's always been a great friend and a, and very great in and trying to help me get to where our goals are with, with the product. Now we're running into a little bit of issue uh with what we're running right now, and John's working on some new stuff, so I'm gonna kind of turn over to John, let him explain it to everybody. Well, when you're when you're running what you run, and you keep doing what you're doing, we keep going further than we've ever gone before. Not trying to sound like Star Trek or anything, but going where no one's gone before becomes very interesting to companies like ourselves. Nobody has ever been there. Because it challenges us to create better products to survive in these extreme 
situations. And so what we're looking at is taking the valve, getting it thicker through here, through the neck area, running an outward taper, a little bit bigger radius, giving it more stability, and going to a material and a heat treatment process that's gonna give it a little more stiffness. You're not having an issue with wear from a malleability standpoint. And we do that a lot with a lot of our other materials because there's a fine line between ductability and durability. Because when we're ductile, it allows us to do this. And I believe you recognize that valve. Oh, I recognize that valve. Wait I mean, a minute. That's one of my valves. That's one of your valves? Yeah. What went wrong there? Well, a little too that much was, heat there. <laughs> and a little detonation, a if little I remember correctly. A little detonation, and then and everything stuck open, piston hit, and it was just a, and it just folded up. But there again, we're lucky we have this kind of material. It didn't break it off. Right. This so not it's not catastrophic. Right. Clearly, it's a problem that's not hurting performance, but is hurting longevity and creating a lot more work. And the big thing that you look at here is that's where we started. And this is where we're going to have to kind of get to is getting this area so that it's not doing this as much. But we don't want to get to a point that if something's catastrophic, that it creates a giant nightmare. Because this is a bad day but it's not a catastrophic day. You know, that's the reality of it. And for use, for those out there that don't understand things, this is what happens when his bike detonates. Exactly. Wow. It's, uh, it's crazy. And that's why we, we've been working with valve technology with John for quite a while. And we're using a great product that they make right now. And it's called a Super Alloy we stand on this for you. But now that we've increased the horsepower, we've increased everything in it, I had to go to John and say, John, we got to do something. We've got to do something. So, he really looked into it, so we're looking at some uh, different materials, and that's the whole thing that Foray is all about, is making it going to be easier for John to do it. If he gets another person in my situation, he'll know exactly right. what to do. So we also uh, do R&D work for Foray sure. to make sure we know this product's going to work before we actually sell it on the market. A lot of trial and error goes into the pursuit of perfection, a lot of research and development. Larry McBride will tell you the old cliche, lean is mean, is true when it comes to top fuel motorcycles. But the problem is with nitromethane in the heat, the valve simply cannot handle it. It hangs down and the head is the heaviest part. The weight of the head combined with the extreme heat causes the valve to bend after the finish line. And the thing that you look at is, when you look at your bike and what you're doing, and we look at all these markets that are out there now, where you got a 2JZ Toyota, you got the Nissan GTRs, you got the Suzuki street bikes, you got the other Suzuki drag bikes. When you're looking at all these markets that maybe aren't even nitro, they're maybe on alcohol, but they're running so much boost that what we learned from your technology transitions right into what we're doing for these guys to help them live. Like I mean, we've got overheat. we've got inline six cylinders now that make 2,800 horsepower on alcohol. Unbelievable. This, this is so educational, insightful. I just want to say thank you, Ferreira, for continuing to push the envelope and forge ahead here with technology. Larry, it's a very important part of your program. Very important, because without these right here, we don't go fast without the great valve technology. And that's, that's a good thing that's been great about being involved with John. He's always uh, accepting uh, any ideas we have, and then he comes back, he gets with his engineers, they come back to me, and. We come, we come to a deal, but I have to listen to them because I'm in the racing business. They're in the racing business, but they're in the racing business to make products to work for us racers. So their goal is to have a product that, that we can test, we can go out and make, prove that it works, they can sell it with all the confidence in the world for this and other application and know it's going to work, not no guesswork. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. You got it. Enjoy. If the Inconel valves prove to be more durable, it could save Spider-Man's crew a whole lot of work, and you could see them changing engines far less often.
The deviation away from stainless valves is something that has the team very excited. After hurting 24 exhaust valves in just six runs, this team could be putting in a whole lot less time changing motors, which means more time to analyze data and chase that all-important 540, 265 mile an hour tune-up. How do you think Larry Spider-Man McBride will do with his new ink canal valves? Make sure you leave your comments, your opinion, your theory below. And any other additional information you have, leave it down below in the comments. We appreciate it. Look at the biceps that's on the, you, the, man. That's the 540 motor right there. Yeah, I was going to say, look at the biceps on you. You can handle that. Congratulations, Mr. Larry. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you. come to look. That whole posse come to say congratulations. Thank you, honey. Thank you. We can go. Thank you everybody for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the comments, and thank you for also liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook. Share with your friends. If you keep it growing, we're going to keep bringing you awesome stuff like this. Thanks a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the legend is here. How are you doing, sir? I'm cycle dragging. I'm cycle dragging. That's what I'm doing. Cycle dragging forever and ever and ever. You are the man. Sweep the leg, right? Sweep the leg, no mercy, and cycle dragging. Hey, cycle drag, you know we got your back. Come here for a second. Check this out. Brock's Performance Exhaust. Well, right now, if you go down below in the description, you will find a special link to save you money at Brock's Performance. Make sure you check it out. The link is down below. You can get your exhaust pipe and so much more. Larry McBride, your 20-time top fuel champion. Uh, world record holder and one thing I'd like to do would be thinkcycledrag.com on Facebook and I'd like for everybody to watch the and view Cycle Drag on YouTube. Um, uh, people that help us out help our sport out a lot and uh, if you don't support them um, it's hard for us to get any support guys and just keep keep supporting my man Jack and we'll be here a long time. We certainly appreciate it. We really hope you enjoyed this video as well. We will see if the Inconel valves do the trick for Team Spider-Man, it could revolutionize their program. You know that they would like to spend a lot less time changing engines and more time chasing world records. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, share, subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube, like CycleDrag.com on Facebook, share with a friend, and you know if there's fast motorcycles involved, especially valve damaging top fuel motorcycles, we'll be there. Cycle Drag. Rolls on.